okay, dear professor, please tell us about this very, very, very nice procedure, the small bubble technique. Well, the idea came up because uh, we were not happy with the big bubble technique in some cases where the cone was very advanced and an 8 millimeter graft would not be enough to include all of the ectatic cornea in the excision. And so we thought that enlarging to 9 millimeter was too uh, dangerous in case you had to convert. So why not combine lamellar grafts with the, with the bubble, with the pneumatic dissection, and create a small bubble? And that's what the video shows. Basically, we restrict the area where we try to go as deep as possible to the central 6 millimeters, and the rest of the graft serves as a support to give the optics of a large graft, a 9 millimeter graft. And this has several advantages. First of all, if the bubble succeeds, it's no problem. We, we have a central part that is totally denuded by, from recipient uh, stroma, and we simply lay on top the donor. But even if the bubble is not successful, we can go down into the emphysematous tissue all the way up to a few microns from decimet and reach uh, basically a result that is the same as when we have the pneumatic dissection. If you had to do that over an 8 millimeter area, that would be, in terms of a surface of area, almost double as much, and the risk of perforation is much higher. Among the different procedures developed to perform deep anterior lamellar keratoplasty, pneumatic dissection with a big bubble technique has proven superior to those employing manual dissection. However, this technique is not easy, and intraoperative complications may require conversion into penetrating keratoplasty in a relevant percentage of cases. As full thickness grafts larger than 8 mm are exposed to a higher risk of immunologic rejection, the usual size of lamellar grafts performed with the big bubble technique does not exceed this diameter, taking into account the need for conversion to penetrating keratoplasty. Also, with the big bubble technique, pneumatic dissection rarely extends far into the coronal periphery and attempts at enlarging the size of the bubble may make it burst.